Hello, my hiking friends. It is nice to see you here. Today I am taking you with me to see how a local fisherman is net fishing under the ice. So, let's go! I am standing here in a small harbor in Pärnu Bay and it is a home base to many coastal fishermen that are catching fish as professionals around here. Although I have lived in this fisherman's village for, for quite some time now, I know very little about fishing in general because my family isn't a historical fisherman's family that we have many around here. But when we moved here, my stepdad started to show interest for the craft of coastal fishing and now he has been a professional fisherman for many years now. We drove to the middle of the bay where he has put two sequences of nets under the ice. There are 40 nets in one sequence and 15 nets on the other sequence. Uh, and one net is about 40 meters long, so the sequences are about 600 meters long. Aga mis kuus salates hakkad neid jääluseid värke panema? Siis kui jää tuleb, no nüüd... Kõige juhu ei lähe, et tuli mingil ajal siis. Jaanuari kuuses. Aga kui paks peab jää olema, et sa siia peale tuled? Kaheksa sent ikka. Ja siis kannab masinat ka või? No, anna puhu siia ja kannab küll siis. The spring has come and the sea ice will soon start to have two big gaps in it. So this is the last time of the season that my stepdad goes on the ice and he will retrieve all the nets. When it's in the meter of winter, he just checks the nets for fish and puts the nets back under the ice or uh, changes the position of the nets also sometimes. But now we are taking all the nets with us. Kas Pärnu, Pärnakaid või Pärnu Kalamehi on ju ma tea peale käend, et ei saa enam tagasi ja vahed on sees. No üks ikka siis aidatakse, no põhimõtteliselt ei ole väga. No üksikud, väga üksikud, kui need, kes jäävad, need on need kirgumahed kõik. Need, kes õngega püüavad. Mm -hmm. yeah. No üldiselt teatakse, jääolusid üksteisega suheldakse ja kus, mis jääd on ja kus on kuidas ja kus on pragu ja see on kõik enam on teada. That is where a section of an open water is there are big pieces of ice that have been separated by the wind and I can't resist taking a closer look yep there's the open water can you see it yes It was so interesting for me to see the craft and knowledge that goes into the art of net fishing under the ice. There were so many special tools that all looked super weird to me, but I knew that they were all necessary for doing the job efficiently. And the most mystical part for me is how they get the net under the ice. Listen to this. Algustab pikli kaugu, lükkad uude alle. Vajad selle sama, selle paela jää alla, siis tõmmad pealt poolt selle. Aha, pulgaga jääd nööri jää alla ja siis nööriga jääd võrgu jää alla. See põlle on noh, pikk pulk ja 24 meetri, udi, udi jääd. Nüüd on alumiinium tarudes, kuue meetselt tarud. Ja lükkad kogeg näed, siin on 40 meetrit, aga vahe aug on noh. Lükkad siit kogeg edasi, sellest vahe august lükkad jälle edasi. Siis enne kuni taha, noh, sealt augustavad nööri üles. Selle pärast siin on, nagu vaata, vahe kuubik, nagu kahvine meetri pööd. It was so fun to watch the net coming out of the hole and waiting a fish to come with it. But yeah, we didn't catch many fish at this go because I heard that in the springtime the fish are inactive and everybody's catch will be smaller. There was a lot of flatfish in the net, as you can see, but as it is their time for spawning, it is forbidden to catch them, so we had to set them all free. Also, some fish were undersized and we let them free too. There's no two mõõdu. One is liha mõõdu, and this is sabaotsad. Sabaotsa mõõdu on siin, see on 44. Järgmine aasta on 46. 
siis on ta põhimõtteliselt 46 annab järgmise aasta mõõdu kui välja. There are a lot of regulations concerning coastal fishermen to protect the fish situation in the bay and I totally get it. But at the same time it is still a bit sad to hear that the, the fishermen have to change up all their old nets, they can't use them anymore and they have to get new ones with new mesh sizes. But what you gonna do, right? If you want to catch adult fish in the future, you have to make sure that you don't catch the young ones today, right? See on nüüd juba siuke, jah, see võtab, noh, isegi ühe võrgu peale üks suge kala on. Või kompenseerib praegu ära siin, eelnevad tühe võrgu. Palju üks suge maksab? Palju sulle? Jah, see maksab, noh, see ei ole. Poolteis kilo on kindlasti. Ma arvan, see maksab suge üheks eurot. But the biggest issue for the industry isn't the changing regulations, but the fact that young people don't want to get involved in this profession anymore. In short terms, it means that if a fisherman wants to get more nets and catch more fish, uh, he needs some extra help, but there is no one to help you. And this also means that the older generation don't have anybody to pass on the knowledge to. Well, yeah, it's a tough job. He is doing all the work, I am standing and doing nothing, because I can't do anything. <laughs> no skills. I was in the middle of the bay on the ice for about five hours and I really loved the feeling of the open white space gave to me. It was so quiet and it made me feel like I was on a totally different world. So peaceful, so quiet, so simple. Of course, we were lucky with the weather. The wind was basically non-existent and we also had a bit sun. So it was, it was a really beautiful day. These are the weirdest little fellas. They are like small snakes, but like fish at the same time. The fishermen call it the needles because I guess they look like a needle. We are almost at the end of the second like sequence. We started, you see the small diagonal there? We started at the beginning of there and now we have a little bit to go. We have a trusty bunch of seagulls following us <laughs> all the way. I heard that the seagulls are also eating the small needle, needle fish. Uh, so come on seagulls, I left two just for you. The sea and the sea ice is a really interesting thing for me. You think that it's just one simple thing, it's ice, but in reality there is so much for you to know how it behaves, how do you know if the ice starts to lose its, its strength and so on. So that's the thing I really admire about the fishermen is that they follow the nature and the weather so closely to do their job well. My dream is that one day I could read the nature so well and also to have a job that works so close to the nature as the fishermen do. I am super thankful that I had this opportunity to see a small glimpse of this coastal tradition. I'm a big sucker of traditions and I really loved seeing it so close in real life. Thank you so much for coming along with me to this little trip. If you like this video, please let me know by pushing the thumbs up button below. Subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to push the notification bell because YouTube doesn't always show my videos in your subscription feed right away. If you got something out of this video and you are the kind of person who would like to give back then the best way for you to support me is by going to my Etsy shop and buying my watercolor prints. I have done quite many sea themed paintings, so if you find the sea mesmerizing or just beautiful and calming like I do, then go check out my shop and maybe you'll find something that suits your taste. Okay guys, thank you again for hanging out with me. Go for a hike because life is so much better in hiking shoes and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.